This is a video of how to install Hacker's Keyboard on an Android phone. I did a video some um, months ago, or almost a, year, a couple of years ago now, on Hacker's Keyboard, and at the time, uh, Google had removed it from the Google Play Store. Well, it's now back again. So to install Hacker's Keyboard, you've got to go to the Google Play Store. So there's an app for the Google Play Store. So go into that. Up the top here, you search for what you want, which is Hacker's Keyboard. So just type in Hacker's. And it comes up, no, it's actually K, Hacker's Keyboard, there's Hacker's Keyboard. I press that there, and there we are, mine's already installed. So it was updated last on the 26th of November 2018, some time ago. So it's put back again. All right, so there we are. So that's how you install it, is follow the bouncing ball and say install it. But I'm going to open it. When you open it, what you've got to do then is you've got to uh, enable the keyboard by pressing that one there up the top there, enabling the keyboard. All right. Um, <clears throat> that tells you a little bit about it. Okay. Uh, you can set optional languages, etc. That. So how do you actually use the hacker's keyboard? All right. So mine's all in enabled and ready to go. So I'll just go. I need to go into something where I'm going to type something. So I'll just go into an email. All right. Create a new email message. All right and I'm going to compose a message. Now this keyboard, when you can press on a compose a message, this is a keyboard for uh, the normal, I think it's called G something keyboard, the Google keyboard, right? So to swap to a different keyboard on my phone, down the bottom here, you'll notice right down the bottom here, there's a uh, an area for, um, well, I didn't want to go into that, an area where it shows a little keyboard symbol. So I just need to touch that. And that's the normal keyboard I'm in, which is Gboard. There's also Google typing uh, and also a hacker's keyboard. If I touch that, there we are. I'm now on the hacker's keyboard. All right. You notice the difference with hacker's keyboard. It's got these extra keys at the bottom, the escape key, a little uh, set key, an FN key, etc. Right. Somewhere there's usually there it is a control key. So if I type in uh, do 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 a lot of junk, all right, and I make a mistake and I want to get rid of it, um, I can just pr and undo it. I can just press the control key, which is that one, and Z. None does the last thing. Control Z, control Z, control Z, undoes what I did. Control Z, or control Y. Puts it back. Control Y. Control Y. Don't look like it. Yes, it does. Control Y. Puts it back again. And then you've got lots of other keys, which I've all explained in other videos. So that's how to do it. Change back my original. Another advantage too is you've got the little arrow keys here, and I can move back and forward, character at a time, which is a hell of a lot easier when selecting text. And there's a whole lot of other things you can do. I'll put in other videos which I originally did. All right, uh, if you want to know any more, give us an email, but that's basically how you install and use that, the hacker's keyboard. Um, you can read up more about it, but that's basically it. Okay, that's, that's it. So I shall, uh, I'll go back to my normal keyboard. I just press the keyboard function again and go back to my Google keyboard. There we are. That's it. Bye.